Ideas and planning. I briefly mentioned this again in Racy this morning. This one is actually people that take responsibility for getting things done quite often book some time into their day to come up with new ideas and plan for things. Okay? How many people, and this is a rhetorical question, but no, no it's not actually, I'm going to ask everybody on the call actually this today, right? How many times, and be honest with me here, how many times, if you, you let, even if you have a jobs list, right? How many times if you come into work or opened your laptop, right, started answering emails, and then by the time you actually think something else, two hours have gone and you're still answering emails and you haven't even got to your job list. How many, t how many people on this call has that happened to? Just put me a yes in the chat box, yeah? Straight away, Christian's in there straight away, yeah? Oh, they're all coming now. Every <laughs> Lindsay, I like, <laughs> Lindsay's put every blooming day, I like that, uh, very good. Uh, far too often, uh, 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 Sham says for us there, yeah? So, Luke, guys, look, they're all coming, aren't they? They're all coming. Aaron's put, it used to, let me just move this so I can see that full thing. Uh, it used to, uh, but, but, but a set time for set activities. Um, and I think that's the key, isn't it? Yeah, if you read about successful people, entrepreneurs and, um, you know, millionaires and things like that, if you read about them, they do something called double prioritizing. Okay, and a few of a few of you have seen me teach this uh, before. Double prioritizing, um, and what double prioritizing is is you get into work, and your first job, your first thing you do is you write your job list out if if it's not written out already. Now I don't, I haven't got time to go into a methodology with you today, but generally. You have your jobs list, and whichever method you want to use, Covey's four quadrants, some people might have heard of. Um, I use a, a version of that, an ABC123 system. But you basically, everything in your jobs list, you give it an urgency, an A, a B, a C, a one, a two, or a three. And then what you do is you double, you, you, you go over it, and then you double prioritize it. And you go, Re is that really an A? Is that, is that A1? Is that A2? Is that A3? And the point I'm making here without me actually getting into the methodology is sometimes we need to take some time, just take five minutes, less than 1% of your day before you've even opened an email and actually write down what's important. Now, once you've wrote your job list, if you open your emails and you've had a couple of urgent things come in, that's fine, get them into an A job on your jobs list, no problem. The point I'm making is that successful people, when they take responsibility, they don't just do what they've always done and get what they've always got, yeah, which, which is the first sign of madness, remember, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So they don't just always do what they've always done and got what they've always got, they actually, Put, book some time into their day for new ideas and planning of what they're going to do. Really, really important, guys. Okay, really important. Um, I've been in the studio all morning, this morning, um, since 8.30. I was around my first session. Um, when I finish this one, I'll go back to my desk. First thing I do, jobs list. Yeah, then I'll check my emails. Yeah, and just make sure that I've got the right thing for, the, for today. What do I need to complete today? Uh, and then I'm good to go, okay?